This is just a, a video to answer a few questions for people. As you can imagine, I get a lot of, of comments and messages asking me about the battery kit. So I'm going to try and answer a few questions. Um, so bear with me. First thing is, now this video isn't brand orientated. It doesn't focus on any particular brand. Hopefully these answers will cover most brands, but obviously one or two of the answers, it may be towards this brand because that's the brand I've got the experience with. Right, the first question is, and the main one I get, is why I've gone battery. And there's a lot of answers to that one. First one is health. Obviously, there's no fumes, and often if you're in enclosed gardens, there's no airflow, etc. You're breathing a lot of fumes, so that's one big benefit. There's also the weight benefit as well. In general, the tools are slightly lighter, depending what tool you're using and what battery. There's less vibration and a big one is the noise. There's battery's not silent, however it is much more quieter than traditional two cycle, two stroke. Generally I find it much more of an efficient way of working as well. Uh, I seem to be able to do jobs a little bit more quicker with battery than I can with two stroke. Um, you obviously on a on the whole day you get less fatigue I find with it. Uh, so you you stay more productive through the day. The tools are a lot more convenient to use as well. Um, you literally press a button and go. There's no start and no refueling, putting cans in and out, etc. You literally slap a battery in, press a button, you go. Another side effect, though, I, I found after I started getting into battery is it's a great upselling point for your business as well. I've, I've found my clients love the battery gear. Um doesn't impact on their daily lives uh, when you're in their gardens you very much blend into the background rather than being this noisy thing sit just buzzing around the garden you're very much you're there but you being there is not an issue especially in this modern world now when so many people work from home Another question I get is, am I full battery kit? And the answer is no. I would guess I am about 80-20. Again, because the nature of how my business is set up, I focus mainly on very large properties. So... The nature of them properties, occasionally I will have to still use a large brush cutter. And because the pure amount of trees they have, a backpack blower is essential. Uh, I, I can do eight hours of leaf blowing just in one property. So um, that is why I'm not completely. But spring, summer, early autumn... I would guess I'm now 100% battery at them periods, but over the 12 months, it's sort of 80, 80, 20. Uh, another question I get is about the batteries. Now, there's several questions here. Which batteries to use, as in the size, capacity? And there is a little bit of a learning curve with them, depending how your business is run, how 
I run my business, I use a mixture of size of battery because of, to allow for runtime and weights, etc. So in the head cutters, I use a smaller battery. I get really good runtime, but I can keep the weight of the machine down. Where, say, a lawnmower, the weight of it is not an issue. So I use a, a more bigger battery, again with a blower, etc. and a combi. So it's a bit of a juggle with run times and weights, but you, you tend to have to find your own way with them to fit how you work. Uh, another question is, do I ever run out of battery? And the answer is, odd occasion. Um, if, if, if I go to a job for the day and I do something I wasn't really expecting to do and perhaps I've got more strimming than I thought or more blowing than I thought, if I use a bit too much battery or get low, I do have a spare charger in the van and I've yet to have a, a client say, no, you can't use their PowerPoint. All my customers have outside PowerPoints and they all said, yeah, go for it. Quite happy for you to use it. So battery charging is not an issue, especially with a fast charger. Time I run a battery out, the other one would be charged up. Um, another one I get is, have I any issues with the battery in hot weather? Uh, which is no. And when charging, if I forgot to turn the charger off and the battery's got hot, which is, again, no. The chargers I use, they have fans in them, um, but once they're fully charged, they switch themselves off. Uh, this will also take me on to another one, the weather. Again, hot and cold weather. Um, I did a very popular video last year of trimming a privet hedge. And that was actually officially the hottest day of the year where I am. I had no issues at all with the hedge cutter or the battery. Uh, again, in the winter, frosty. I think I had a couple of days last year, snow on the ground. Had no issues. The only thing I'd say is follow your manufacturer's guidelines with the battery storage and use. That will help you a lot. Um, right, another question I get is, would I go battery if I was starting up? And that's a definite yes. Uh, another question, is battery powerful enough for the job? And I personally would say yes. I, I've yet to have a job where I've put the battery tool to work and it's not done it or it's been underpowered. Obviously, you select the right tool for the right job. Um, as I, I cut the odd hedge now and then and I haven't used a two-stroke hedge cutter for 18 months now it's for the last 18 min months it's been solely battery power only and i have yet to have one i could not do another question i get asked a lot is what brand should people go for now i can't answer this what you go for must suit you and your business the only advice I can give is research, research, research. Money's hard earned, so don't spend it too quick. Do your research. And I would suggest the three things you top things you should research is your run times, weight of the machine, and that includes the weight of the battery and the shell of the machine and the cycle times of the batteries and do that research if you're looking on the internet 
do it off three sites each question and try and get an average. Don't just take it for gospel off one site. Another question I get asked is the maintenance of the battery kit. Now in general it's pretty minimal. It's keep things sharp like you normally would, greased, lubricated and generally just keep them clean. Occasionally I think there's an odd air filter in them and that's pretty much it. So I hope that's answered a few questions for people and it's helped helped you out. So thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.